everybody so quite a short video today just quickly going over convenience products as a commodity so any product that has been already prepared for you in any way so partially or completely counts as a convenience product you've used lots of these in your lessons and I'm sure you use lots of them at home so you should know quite a lot about them So although there's lots of different types of convenience products, lots of people kind of don't really understand why chefs would use them. Because it is chefs that use them, it's not just people that don't know how to cook. There's a couple of different reasons. So the first reason that we're going over is that it saves time in comparison to preparing fresh. So if you could buy some ready mashed um, potatoes for example, it's going to be much quicker than boiling them, mashing them and doing that yourself. You can also save money. If you're using products that are out of season, so like raspberries, you could buy frozen raspberries that have been picked in summertime so they're, a good, they're good quality and you can keep them in the freezer and it's going to be much cheaper than buying them when they're out of season and they're imported. Again, relating to that one, there are fewer air miles involved with um, some convenience foods. So if, for example, it's a product that's out of season, if you can have it... Um, as a convenience product it's not had to be transported they also have a longer shelf life so you can keep them for a long period of time and it, it means that you let you waste less because that you don't need to use them until you're ready to they're not going to go off or anything like that they're quick to prepare because obviously you've just opened them and quite often they're ready or you have to do very little preparation for them and they're really quick to cook so I've carried on, I ran out of space, and I've carried on with why to use that, why you would use convenience products. So if you use convenience product, every single packet that you use is all going to be of the same quality, so it's a consistent quality. So any dish that uses them, you can expect the same results, the same flavour, the same texture, the same sensory qualities. They're really easy to use, especially, and this is especially good if you've got chefs which haven't got very many skills. So if you've got a shift, for example, where your commie chef is on duty and he's in charge of a, a, of a section, then it's, it's going to be good that he can use the convenience products so that it's not sort of pushing his skills and things like that in, if he's not confident. They're also easy to store. Because they're often in packets, it's really easy to store them because they're quite often stackable. And it's good to have just in case of emergency, emergency, so that if anything goes wrong, you can still provide meals for your customers. So the next thing that I'm going to do for you is start to put some of these convenience products into categories for you. This is just one way of categorising them, and we're going to do another one later. So you can start off with full convenience, meaning they have been fully prepared for you. There is nothing that you have to do to them to prepare them. We've then got pre-service, meaning they're ready for service, but you might have to do something small to them. So you might have to portion it, for example. There's then pre-cooking convenience products. So these have been prepared up until the point at which you need to cook them. We've got pre-assembly, so they've been prepared up until the point that you can assemble them into other products. And then we've got basic convenience where you can um, use them, but the pre some basic preparation has been done for you. So my examples of full preparation include full convenience products include butter portions, sliced bread and frozen fruit. So butter portions for example, you know the little ones that you get in a small plastic container with a tin foil lid, that you do not have to do anything to them as a chef. You could literally be serving your bread rolls and you could put a butter portion on the plate and you don't have to do anything to it. The customer will be ready, will be able to use it as they need to. For the pre-service examples, I've got ice cream, canned fruit and frozen fruit. So for example, with the ice cream, you might need to be serving that with it as part of a dessert on your menu. All you would have to do is pre-service, open the container and portion it using an ice cream scoop, for example. I've then got pre-cooking as an example. So these are products, like I've said already, that have been prepared up until the point of cooking. So my examples include dried soup, sausage rolls and portioned meats. So... So the sausage rolls, for example, you can get, you know, those little cocktail sausage rolls. They have already been, the pastry's been prepared, the sausages have been put in there, they've been sealed, they've been glazed. All you would have to do as a chef, say you're preparing for a buffet, is put them onto a baking tray and cook them for the amount of time required on the instructions. Portioned meats include stuff like chicken breasts and things like that. Now pre-assembly, so this means that the preparation's been done, but they're not assembled into a final product. So for example, I've got given you frozen pastry, Fruit pie, fr fruit pie filling and sponge mixes. So frozen pastry can come rolled or not rolled, 
pre-rolled or not rolled. So you might want to roll that out and you can fill it with fruit pie filling to make a pie. And then for basic convenience, my examples include peeled vegetables and dried fruit. So for example, you can get carrots that have already been prepared. So the next thing that I'm going to do for you is give you some different examples of different types of convenience products. So this is just a different way of categorising them. So you can get fresh convenience products, canned convenience products, dried convenience product, products, frozen convenience products, chilled, vacuum packed and portion controlled convenience products. So lots and lots of people get this one confused because lots of people kind of forget about fresh convenience products. So these are things like sliced bread and ready made cakes. So they've been completely processed for you, but they are still fresh products. So your sliced bread, your cakes, could be a gatto, for example, that you're serving as a dessert. Lots and lots of um, catering establishments use fresh desserts as part, of, as part of their menu, and these would be fresh convenience products. There's also things for canned convenience products, like baked beans and canned fruits. You can do all of these processes yourself, yourselves, but they've already been done for you. So you can make baked beans yourselves, but not many people would. Even chefs would, and they would buy them in, and they can be um, in the canned form. You can also get dried fruits, milk powder, pasta and rice as dry convenience products. Obviously, some, lots of you have made pasta as part of your coursework, so you know that there's lots and lots of steps that you need to do to make that pasta. You can dry it out, and it's going to mean that you don't have to make it yourself. So going back to some of the advantages of convenience products, it's going to save lots of time. You can also get frozen convenience products. So things like pies, breaded fish and pro frozen pastry. So it's just another way of storing them. And again, frozen foods can have a really, really long shelf life and they can be defrosted quite quickly, ready for you to use. There's chilled convenience products. So these products that again have been processed for you but have to be kept chilled chilled so they don't have the longest shelf life but it's longer than if you were keeping it out at room temperature and ambient temperature so my examples for this are coleslaw and pate you can also get vacuum packed processed um, convenience products so this can include fruit vegetables and meat so an example of this one of my year 10s today was using some um, vacuum packed beetroot for a, a recipe and so that's an example of a convenience product you can also get portion controlled convenience products so these are things like the butter portions that I spoke about earlier and the jam portions. So that's it for this video. Remember you can always look on Frog for more revision information. I hope you found this video useful.